All right, welcome back to News Now on Plus TV Africa. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiemila, says that COVID-19 has exposed Nigeria's health institutions, which necessitated some interventions from the House. He said that the National Assembly will continue to provide funds to strengthen the Nigeria's health sector. We're now being joined by a public affairs and a public health expert, rather, Dr. Tuyu Mabawando. Good evening to you, Doctor. Many thanks for joining us on the news. Good evening, Justin. All right, now, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Representatives Femi Bajabiamila, says COVID-19 pandemic exposed the nation's health sector, which necessitated interventions. Would you say this has brought positive changes recently or not? Well, again, um, the COVID-19 exposure created a lot of uh, uh, understanding of how dare, of how bad our health system is. But... Um, I, have, I am not convinced that we have learned the lesson in terms, why am I saying this? One, uh, we have seen a lot of movement of health workers, including doctors, nurses, laboratory scientists, out of Nigeria, even during the COVID-19 exposure. We have also seen a lot of strikes coming up regularly during the COVID-19. Um, and we've seen, in fact, we have witnessed at least three strikes from the National Assembly Resident Doctors even the budget for health has not increased. It has remained pitiable 5%. So what lesson then have we learned? We have, you know, and then we have not seen that requisite response in the funding of private health care um, uh, centers all around the country. The COVID-19 came, the lesson we have not learned. The further hiatus in our health system uh, is being, going to be widened. Because the response, the political response to the health gaps have not been, have not been really, really, really wonderful. All right, um, doctors. Uh, indeed, you've mentioned that uh, we still have a, lo a long way to go vis-a-vis uh, -vis infrastructure and health and personnel, among others, since uh, we're still talking about the brain drain. But recently, uh, the resident doctors are calling for an increase in budgetary allocation to the health sector, specifically from 5 to 15 percent. Uh, do you think uh, that is indeed enough, or what more is required? Uh, 15 percent allocation should be the minimum. Why do I say this? We've lost a lot of ground. In Nigeria, um, you see now we're having all sorts of endemic diseases: Lassa fever, um, meningitis. We're having typhoid. We have, and then upon all this, we're still having COVID-19. The hypertension is there. We're having shortage in terms of training of doctors. People are not embracing science as it is, and even the teaching hospitals are having shortage of funds. Fifty percent will just be the barest minimum that government can do. We need to actually figure out and look for ways to raise the funding of health, of health and how to really deliver the money um, appropriately to, to get the necessary result. 50% should be the minimum. I think Nigeria should go beyond 50%. All right, uh, Doctor, let's talk still on um, COVID-19, you know, the pandemic and all. Before now, we used to have the issue of, um, you know, um, uh, vaccine um, hesitancy and all of that. But recently, from a report that we uh, just um, saw, uh, Nigerians said they are more confident in getting vaccinated after the federal government destroyed uh, more than a million doses that, you know, were actually um, expired. What does all of this tell us? Well, again, um, we know that uh, at the beginning, a lot of people were very hesitant about the, about overtaking the vaccine. But they must have seen a lot of people that took the vaccines, and then the positive effect of the vaccine must be dawning on Nigerians, and then more people are now embracing the vaccine. But the huge problem is this. We are just about 2.6% vaccinated, fully vaccinated in the country, and then we have just only 40 million people having one dose of the vaccine. The vaccines are not really, really available. We have not been able to wrap up vaccine supply to Nigeria, you know, and then, of course, as much as 5% uh, uh, of the vaccine supply got expired from Malawi to Nigeria to South Africa. So now, um, it is good that the vaccine culture is getting improved and people are embracing the vaccine. The government should seize this initi initiative to ensure that vaccine is available in requisite supply and affordable to the people, whereby a state chose to put as much as 6,000 naira for admission of vaccines in the private hospital is not, not good at all. 
it will actually further drag people back and prevent the deepening of vaccination uh, in the country. All right, Doctor, just before we let you go, you know, world over there is this talk about um, uh, vaccine inequity. You know, right now you're talking, for, uh, talking about um, the need for Nigerians to get um, more vaccines available. What more do you really think can be done to just actually strike a bit of a balance so uh, Nigerians and indeed Africa can get um, the vaccines that they need? Nigeria essentially should have signed a contract manufacturing agreement with one of those approved vaccines and manufacture the vaccine locally. If you don't manufacture vaccines locally, how do you get supply? And you can see that, you know, as the virus mutates, um, where the need for vaccines become more important. The only thing that can help us is not to wait for donation from, Co from COVAX or donation from uh, OAU, AU. But we should be able to manufacture vaccines, at least in about three, four countries in Africa, in the north, in the south, and in the western part of Africa, and the eastern part of Africa. We should have means of manufacturing those vaccines that can be deployed to people. But waiting for donation, that means that you have to wait for quite a long time, and it's not too good for, the, for our Africa as a continent. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we have been speaking with some um, public health experts, Dr. Tui uh, Mebowondo, and we have been speaking about uh, the exposure of um, the Nigeria's health sector to COVID-19 and all we need to do to ensure that um, Nigerians get vaccinated and on time too. Many thanks once again, Dr. Mebowondo. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.